Hey ghouls and gals, it's your favorite horror TV girl Tiffany Toxin here, ready to chat with you and bring you up to speed on what's been going on with American Horror Story Season 8 Apocalypse. This week's episode, Sojourn, I think I said that right, Sojourn, Sojourn, anyways, this week's episode is jam-packed with important information and we've got lots to talk about. So stick around and see how this episode measured up on the Toxin Gore Meter and see who made my infamous naughty list. As always, if you like the video, give your girl a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. From where we left off on the last episode, there were some fiery outcomes. Michael has now stumbled upon the charred remains of not only his warlock companions, but his beloved Mead. And Cordelia, who appears to come from nowhere, shows up to offer Michael an alternative. Denounce thy father, the Dark Lord, and come to the light side. Well, as we all probably could have predicted, he refuses and vows to kill everyone she knows and loves. During what seems like a daddy issues breakdown in the middle of the forest, you know, where we all go to have breakdowns, Michael has some visions or hallucinations during a ritual that include LaVey and some angels and some children. Weird. Anyways, Michael's visions leave him stumbling to find more answers. Covered in goat blood, he stumbles upon a satanic congregation. This is a very interesting group of people whose definition of evil is competing on who did the most evil thing in their most boring lives. Anyways, in this moment, Michael finds a new friend, Madeline, who offers to take him home and give him food and shelter. Not really the most evil thing in my book, but whatever works. Anyway, she takes him home and shows him what she sold her soul to the Dark Lord for, her house of riches, which to her is a lazy boy recliner and some cable TV. You know, living that high life. Oh, and she gets to do all the age she wants and get her freak on with Brad Pitt and Ryan Reynolds on the reg. You know, I would take a little bit of some Brad and Ryan, but you can hold the H. <laughs> Anyways, during this dinner date, Michael unveils all of his parental issues as well as who he truly is, the Antichrist, the one they've all been waiting for. At this moment, Madeline knows exactly what she is supposed to do. She has to take Michael to the congregation and introduce him to the satanic priestess, Hannah, and the church itself. And when they arrive, they stumble upon, you know, the usual human sacrifice. And Michael has to reveal who he truly is while killing the human sacrifices themselves. And they all know now that he is the Antichrist and he is their savior. Anyways, as the church is fawning over him, they are all ears to find out what will happen next. However, Michael doesn't really know what will happen next because, well, he himself is unsure to why he was born and what his purpose is. He's still trying to discover that one. Well, Madeline, the ever so helpful Madeline, knows just exactly what to do. She has to take him to the most evil place, Silicon Valley, the land of greed, money, and power and she ends up dropping him off at the collective. You remember, the group of the wealthiest people who get to live and prepare for the apocalypse while the rest of us in humanity die and suffer? You know, that whole group. Anyways, he meets the ever so uptight Miss Vindable, and he also meets Jeff and Mutt. Jeff and Mutt, these two. <laughs> if you could picture Lloyd and Harry from Dumb and Dumber, as two coked out sex bot making scientist genius, well, with some awesome bowl cuts, well, you, you have Jeff and Mutt. Anyways, these two, who also sold their soul to the Dark Lord to be able to do all the coke they want, have lots of sex, money, power, their whole operation. Oh, and they also get to 
get their freak on with Ryan Reynolds. Man, that guy is really popular amongst the Darklings. Anyways, these two are responsible for the creation of Mead the Finbot. Now, this episode was a little slow for me. Um, I know not every episode can be, you know, off the charts good and very exciting, leave you on your seat. But this episode could have been a little more interesting, maybe had a little more excitement. Very informative, uh, very important to the storyline. A lot of puzzle pieces being put together, but again, kind of slow. I would rate this episode um, a level two on the Toxin Gore meter. We did have a little bit of blood, some human sacrifices, but all in all, it was a little mild compared to the rest of the episodes. Last but not least, who made my naughty list? Well, this week, even though this person is not an actual character on the series or an active role whatsoever, the naughty list award goes to Mr. Ryan Reynolds. All those house calls for all those who sold their soul to Satan himself, well, my, my, Mr. Reynolds, you are a naughty boy. Now go to my room and I will be waiting for your punishment. Right, anyways, <laughs> um, please leave your comments below. Let me know what you thought about the episode or the season so far. I wanna hear your thoughts. Let me pick your brain, let's discuss. I always love to hear what my fellow horror fiends have to say. Anyways, until next time, my creeps.